Hello Ross developers and welcome to a new video. In this case we have a very special video because as you can see right here, this week, just a few days ago, in November 22, Ross 2 Eloquent has come out and with it the many new features and many interesting features have come as well. And for instance, let's check here in the in the official documentation. So as you can see here, they have uh, many new features, like for instance, supporting for support for markup uh, based launch files like XML and YAN, which is very nice. So now you will be able to write your launch files in XML, just as you did for ROS one and improved launch based testing pacing key value parameters on command line interface also uh, support to stream logging macros per node logging so some improvements in the logging system the rush to doctor as well which by the way we are going to see in another video and improved performance sourcing setup setup files which is uh, very nice some improvements as well in rvs and rqt also for the turtle sim um, tutorials some RMW implementations. Also, I'm going to do a different video probably next week talking exclusively about this and doing some tests. Uh, so stay tuned for this video. Uh, but yeah, basically many changes as well in the, in the as you can see here in the ge geometry messages package. Also some changes in the API for RCL CPP. But yeah, so basically, as you can see, many, many interesting, interesting new features. Some of them I'm going to create separate videos, like I've just told you about the middleware implementations. I'm going to create another video and probably for some, for reviewing some other interesting features here, like for instance, the XML YAM support in launch files. But today I want to focus on another thing which is Ament Python. So with Eloquent also comes uh, Ament Python Super, which means that you can now create Python packages off the shell. And we are going to be testing this as always in ROSDS. I'm going to, to create a new project. By the way, by the way, in... Yeah, so here, as you can see, I have one already opened. Let me come here one second to the main screen. So in ROSDS, we already have support for ROS2 Eloquent. So you can come here and create a new ROSjet, name it as you want, whatever. And here in the configuration, you can select, as you can see, ROS2 Eloquent. So we already have available um, ROSjets. You can create your own projects with ROS2 Eloquent of the shell in ROSDS. In order, if you want to test all these new features or whatever, we have it here. In my case, I'm going to be using one which I have here. This was to test eloquent. So let me go directly to that one, which I have already opened. In fact, it's it's empty. So it doesn't have anything at the moment. It's just empty, as you will see. So we are going to very quickly here create a Python package using Amen Python. You will see it's very easy now. So as you can see here in the Rust workspace, Okay, so I actually have something, but I'm going to remove it right now. So, yeah, actually I've, I've been doing some tests here to test this. So, so let's come here to ROS2 workspace, SRC, and let's remove everything here. I'm going to remove as well all these folders to start from scratch. Okay. Um, so yeah, until now, let me clear this. In order to create Python packages, you have to create ros to package create build type amend cmake and the name, for instance, test ros to package. So let me copy this command. Let's come here to the ROS2 workspace and execute it here. Okay, ROS2 command not found. That's true. So let me come here to source opt ROS eloquent setup bash so that we can use ROS2 eloquent. There we go. Now we will have all the ROS2 commands available. There we go. 
let me execute now the command again. It's actually it's wrong. It has a U here. There we go. So this will generate here in my Rust workspace a, a new package which uses the Amend make build type, which actually it's for C++, but yeah, it's just for um, for showing you how it was done before. In fact, we have some tutorials, I, I think, about this, which we are going to have to remove and update. So basically, uh, until now, what you had to do was to create a package using Amend make and then tune it, like, for instance, removing the semi list txt then you have to manually create the setup.py file etc 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 so it was a little bit cumbersome but now let me come here and remove this so now we can actually do this rust to package create build type amend python and test uh, ROS2 package. In fact, let me call it ROS2 pi package, for instance. And let's add some dependencies. Dependencies with RCL pi and std messages, for instance. So let's execute this command and it works perfectly. And as you can see, it creates our Python package with all the required structure. You can see here the setup pi, the setup CFG for the configuration here, the folder where we will place our scripts. So yeah, it's that easy now. Yeah. So this is an amazing improvement in Rust 2. So for instance, let's do an example. Let's create here a new file, which is going to be called, uh, I don't know, simple publisher.py. And let me grab here uh, an example code. I have for this uh, demonstration, which is super simple. It's just a simple publisher, which will publish into a topic name counter data of type int 32, so integers. And basically this integer, which is published into this topic, it will be incrementing each time. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Super, super simple. And now, all we need to do after creating our our Python script here, remember in this folder, yes, you need to place it here in this folder where you have the init.py. Then now you would come here to the setup.py file, which is like the CMake list equivalent for Python. Then here in the entry point at the end, where it says console script, here inside the brackets, you will you will put here, let's put a name for our executable, like for instance, I don't know, um, simple publisher Python, let's say. And now we indicate the name of our package, which is the same as the folder where we have our script, which in this case it's ros 2 pi package dot then we put the name of our Python script, which in our case is simple publisher, simple publisher without the pi. So it's just simple underscore publisher without the extension. And then two points main, which will point to the main function of our script, which in this case, it's this one. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, so let's save this. So this basically will come here to rust 2 pi package um, folder to our simple publisher script here. And it will create an executable from the main function, which will be called, this executable will be called simple publisher pi. Yeah. Then let me save this and compile it. So let's come here the source and colcon build singlink install so this is compiling as you can see let's source our our rust workspace 
And now I can do a ROS2 run of my ROS2 by package. There we go. By package and the executable is called simple publisher by. So simple, let me autocomplete, publisher.py. So now I can run this and my publisher starts publishing here integers which are incrementing at each loop, at each iteration. iteration. Yeah. So yeah, basically that's what I wanted to show you in this video. So very happy that we have already the eloquent Elusor ROS2 version and which brings many interesting features and improvements. And yeah, let you know that you already have it available in ROSDS. You can create off the shelf ROSDX with ROS2 Eloquent and test it, test all, all these new features like this one I have shown you, which is probably my favorite. So this Ament Python build type, which is now available. And yeah, as I've, as I've told you, I am going to create more videos. For sure, I'm going to create a video explaining these RNW implementations, which is going to be very, very interesting. So stay tuned next week. I will publish this video. So yeah, that's all for the video of today. And yeah, see you in the next video. Keep pushing your Ross learning. Goodbye.